Welcome to Career Day Training Solutions on Interest Calculations. In this video, we are going to discuss some problems based on simple interest. Let me show you how to solve simple interest problems easily without using formulas. The first question is, what is the simple interest on Rs. 7500 at the rate of 12% per annum for 8 years? Assume you borrowed 7500 rupees from the bank. So the 7500 is called principal amount, right? So the principal is always how many percentage? 100 percentage. So you borrowed 7500 rupees from the bank. So you can spend it entirely or you can spend half of the amount. So it is 100 percentage for you. So the principal is always 100 percentage. And the bank is asking you to pay 12 percentage every year as simple interest. And you are paying this 12 percentage for totally 8 years. For one year, it is 12 percentage. For 8 years, totally how much you paid? 12 percentage into 8. So 12 percentage into 8 gives you 96 percentage. You know, the 7500 is 100 percentage. You have to find only 96 percentage of 7500. So what is 96 percentage of 7500? So just cancel the zeros. 75 into 96 gives you 7200 rupees. So the 7200 is the total simple interest that you have to settle the bank at the end of 8 years. So totally how much you have to settle? So you have to pay the 7500 which is the principal amount you borrowed from the bank as well as the 7200. So it is 14700 at the end of 8 years. So the answer is 7200 because the question is you have to find only the simple interest. So the simple interest is 7200 rupees. The second question. Second question is a man borrowed rupees 15,000 at the rate of 24 percentage simple interest and to clear the debt after 6 years how much he has to return. So a man borrowed 15,000 from the bank. So this 15,000 is the principal amount. The guy is paying 24 percentage simple interest every year and he is clearing the debt after 6 years. So every year he paid 24 percentage for the total 6 years. So 24 percentage into 6 give you 144 percentage. So he borrowed 100 percentage which is 15,000 from the bank and he is paying 144 percentage as the total simple interest. So 15,000 into 144 by 100. So this give you 21,600. So he bought 15,000 from the bank for that he have to pay 21,600 rupees total interest. So what is the total amount he has to return? So this is the question right? How much he has to return? So he has to return this 15,000 along with this 21,600. So totally he have to settle 15 plus 21,600 36,600 rupees. So 36,600 is the total amount that he has to settle at the end of 6 years. Third question. Third question is, a man borrowed rupees 12,000 at the rate of 10% simple interest and lent the same sum to another person at the rate of 15%. What will be the gain after 5 years? See, for this type of question, you don't need to use pen and paper. You can just read the question and if you understood the point, you can just solve it using your what uh, oral calculation. Now, you borrowed 12,000 rupees from the bank. And the bank is asking you to pay 10% simple interest every year. But you borrow 12,000 rupees from the bank and you lend to another person for the rate of interest 15% every year. Now the question is what is the gain after 5 years? Right? 5 years. So you borrow 12,000 rupees from the bank and you have to pay 10% to the bank every year and you are paying this 10% for 5 years. So totally you have to pay 10 into 5 50 percentage so 50 percentage of 12,000 is 6,000 rupees so you have to pay 6,000 rupees to the bank every year I'm sorry 6,000 rupees to the bank at the end of 5 year and you are asking the man to pay 15 percentage every year and he is paying this 15 percentage for totally 5 years so 15 percentage into 5 give you 75 percentage so 75 percentage of 12,000 is 9,000 rupees so totally at the end of 5 years you have to pay 6000 rupees to the bank and the man will pay you 9000. So what is your profit? 3000 rupees. So 3000 rupees is the total gain at the end of 5 years. 
so 3000 is the answer fourth question find the simple interest if amount deposited is rupees 1000 for 4 years at the rate of interest 20 percentage per annum so this question is quite simple just read the question and you can easily answer right so you have to find the simple interest for the amount deposited 1000 rupees for 4 years so totally you deposited 1000 rupees this 1000 rupees is the principal amount for one year you will get 20 percentage and you are getting this 20 percentage for totally 4 years for one year 20 percentage means for four years 20 into 4 80 percentage so what is 80 percentage of 1000 800 rupees so 800 rupees is this total simple interest you will get for this 1000 rupees deposit so the answer is what 800 rupees i hope you were getting right okay second question sahil took a loan for six years at the rate of 5 percentage per annum and simple interest. If the total interest paid was rupees 1230, the principal was dash. So Sahil is taking a loan for 6 years and he is paying 5 percentage every year. For 1 year 5 percentage, he is settling this 5 percentage for how many years? 6 years. So for 1 year 5 percentage for 6 years, 5 percentage into 6. So this gives you 30 percentage. Now in the question it is clearly stated he totally paid 1230 rupees as the total interest. So this 30 percentage is how many rupees? 1230 rupees. So this 30 percentage is 1230 rupees you have to find the principal. So obviously the principal is 100 percentage right. So if 30 percentage is 1230 find 100 percentage. So 100 percentage is x. Just use the cross multiplication method. So x equal to 1 2 3 0 by 30 into 100 so 0 0 get cancelled so 3 into 41 gives 123 so 41 into 100 gives you 4100 so the person borrowed 4100 rupees from the bank for the 4100 rupees he paid 1230 rupees as the simple interest so the principal was 4100 rupees right now next question A sum of money lent out at simple interest amounts to rupees 720 after 2 years and to rupees 1020 after a further period of 5 years. Find the sum and rate of interest. So in this question it is given you are depositing some amount into the bank. So after depositing after 2 years the amount becomes 720. So after becoming 720 again after a further period of 5 years it is becoming 1020. So you are supposed to find the principal you invested in the bank as well as the rate of interest, right? Assume you, you lent rupees x to the bank or you lent rupees x to a person. So x is the principal amount because you don't know what is the principal amount. So let x be the principal. So after lending x, for 2 years it is becoming 720 rupees so the principal becomes 720 rupees in 2 years after becoming 720 after a further period of 5 years it is becoming 1020 so it is happening in 5 years so this x becomes 1020 after 7 years so you have to find the x value as well as the rate of interest see this type of problem is quite simple totally how many rupees increased in this tenure of 5 years 1020 minus 720 this gives you 300 rupees so this 300 rupees is the total in interest increased in the 5 years so in 5 years 300 rupees increased so in one year how much increase so 6 times so 60 rupees increased so the 60 rupees is the interest that will credit in your account every year so 720 rupees at the end of two years so at the end of three years 720 plus 60 so this gives you 780 now once again 
you will get another 60 rupees so 780 plus 60 840 so once again another 60 900 so another 60 960 now at the end of seventh year 960 plus 60 this gives you 1020 so similarly before 720 you have to subtract the 60 rupee because the 60 rupee is the standard simple interest that will increase every year so the 60 rupees will not change because the simple interest is constant right so before 720 you have to subtract 60 so it is 660 at the end of first year so how much you deposited 660 minus 60 600 rupees so 600 rupees is the amount principal amount for the 600 rupees the 60 rupees is the interest so what is the 60 rupees for the 600 which is 10 percentage right so 10 percentage is the rate of interest and 600 rupees is the principal so the answer is 600 and 10 percentage i hope you are getting it right now moving to the last question the last question is adam borrowed some money at the rate of six percentage per annum for the first two years at the rate of nine percentage per annum for the next three years and at the rate of 14 percentage per annum for the period beyond 5 years if he pays a total interest of 11,400 at the end of 9 years how much money did he borrow now Adam is paying rupees 11,400 at the end of 9 years as the total simple interest and the condition given is for the first 2 years he have to pay 6 percentage per annum for 1 year 6 percentage per annum for the first 2 years 6 percentage into 2 so it is 12 percentage now at the rate of 9 percentage per annum for the next 3 years that means after 2 years he have to pay 9 percentage for the next 3 years so totally he paid 2 plus 3 5 years and it is given at the rate of 14 percentage per annum for the period beyond 5 years see already 5 years exceeded after 5 years he have to pay 14 percentage for how many more years see he paid 11,400 rupees for 9 years right so the pending period is 4 years so just find the total interest so the total interest is 6 into 2 12 percentage 9 into 3 27 percentage 14 into 4 56 percentage add all this you will get 95 percentage so it is clearly given 95 percentage is 11,400 rupees so this 11,400 rupees is the total simple interest right so this 95 percentage is the total simple interest he settled the bank so 95 percentage is 11,400 you have to find how much money did he borrow so which is 100 percentage principal amount right so 100 percentage equal to x so use cross multiplication you will get x equal to 11400 by 95 into 100 so cancel it 1 times 95 carry 19 so 2 times 190 is 0 so 120 into 100 gives you 12000 rupees so 12000 rupees is the total money you borrowed from the bank for that you paid 11400 rupees as the total simple interest I hope you understood the concepts clearly right so if you enjoy my sessions subscribe my channel like the video click the bell button below it and if you hold any doubt please comment below thank you for watching the video thank you have a nice day